finally, after perhaps the most punishing battle I have ever had, I land one of the biggest, strongest, and most alien freshwater fish I've ever seen. Normally, gar are caught before the water begins to cool down, well before the sun sets. That's gone up, it's gone up again. Most guides give up fishing by mid-afternoon. Set it, set it, set it, set it. There we go. That's it. Please be on you. Feel something? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a fish. Ain't no turtle. Get on! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Ooh. I'm hooked into my target, a river monster with a fearsome reputation, the oh. alligator Gar. Oh, it's pulling down, it's pulling down. Look it's at it, look at that rod tip. Yeah. Let's get him up, let's get him up. After fishing for 12 hours straight, just as dusk turns to night, I set my eyes on the giant fish. Do you want me to? The most dangerous part of gar fishing is bringing the fish aboard the boat. Coming over. Go. That's what we wanted. That's exactly what that we wanted. That is exactly what we wanted. That's a, that's a proper size fish. As the gar comes aboard, it thrashes its snout from side to side like a scythe. Oh. I haven't forgotten that three footer that got me. This fish is almost seven feet long. Single hook. Single hook. Single hook, single hook. <laughs> <laughs> We've done yeah. it. We've done it. Fantastic, Mark. That was really. <laughs> Okay, we got the gaff handle? Yes. All right, so this will go in here. Okay. The teeth of this scar are another half inch longer than those that scarred me earlier. I think it's 123, 123 pounds. Good, 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 good. Oh! There we go, that was one. I just saw this red tail come up fraction of a second, but I recognize it now. That was an arapaima. And what I've got to do is try and quietly get into position so I can actually put a bait near that fish. from the tribes people, which is actually quite hard to do, but I've just got to be patient. This arapaima approaches the half hour mark. I'm reminded that the rebellious, proud spirit that inhabits this fish even refused to surrender to the gods. This is our goal game for the Oh, look at that, it came out so easily. We're, we're ready. There it is. Look at that for a fish. Look at that. Massive female arapaima, about 150 pounds. I finally have the proof in my arms that huge arapaima are still out here. This is a true dinosaur of the deep. 
after a full half hour, finally it begins to tire. Gosh. Incredible fish. This monster is a catfish, but the wrong one. Mekon giant catfish. Ah, it's still fighting me. It's still fighting me, this fish. Mekon giant catfish. This fish is known to grow over 600 pounds. Only 650 pounds is the biggest one authenticated. But this one actually rose and took a piece of maize dangling under a float. Took something about the size of my fingernail. Can you imagine? Turned into a fish like this. Incredible, strong fish. After 11 gruelling days of fishing, I've hooked what could be the biggest totally freshwater river monster I've ever had on my line. It feels like it has come unstuck from the bottom a couple of times, but it's it's just a dead, most of the time it's just a dead weight. Every now and again, there's a slight movement, it rises, and then it sort of sticks down again. Rays stick themselves to the bottom. Prying them off is like pulling the plug out of the river. This is, just feels like a dead weight, a dead weight. That could be in a tree, it could be in a tree. It's using all its bulk and the flow of the river to defeat me. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the boat upstream a little bit, and I'm just going to apply some pressure just from the other side, because if it is in a snag, possibly, if I can just get a different angle on it. Jose has to manoeuvre very precisely in the strong current. That's a tail hitting the line, tail hitting the line. With a fish like this, I'm not in control. All I can do is react. Three hours. This is my longest battle ever, beating even the South African bull shark that took two hours and 45 minutes. My back and arms are now burning. Ah. That is fish, I think. That is fish, that is fish, that is fish, that is fish moving. It's back. My manoeuvre worked. So a bit of tactics there. Nothing was happening. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And I think it might have just hooked the line round a branch, so we just changed the angle of the pull slightly. Look at that. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. That's good, that's good. I want to get it to the beach where I can handle it safely, but that means coaxing it 200 yards further downstream. We've got it literally just 10, 15 feet from the bank. As the creature tires, I have it exactly where I want it. There it is, 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 there it is! Finally, after perhaps the most punishing battle I have ever had, I land one of the biggest, strongest and most alien freshwater fish I've ever seen. The thing I really want to do with this one, though, is get a close look at the tail. I mean, obviously not too close. And to think this is a fish that until recently I didn't even know existed. The Chucho de Rio is unlike any other ray I've come across. OK, 50, nearly 53 inches. Which would make it easily 250 pounds. But what really makes this species stand out is that it is a killer, with a weapon as brutal as a medieval mace like a club fortified with rusty nails, which it drives in with its massive bulk. I might have to just kneel on top of the animal. Uh, OK. <clears throat> That's what I wanted to look at. Uh, the dead animal I saw had its tail chopped off. This one has its sting intact. It's got two stings on there. And also, by the look of it, uh, you know, this can come a long way on either side, it's also very flexible. So I wouldn't want to get anywhere near this. <sighs> Time to put this back in the water. Um, my arms are just aching so much. I've been fishing solid for 11 days. If this feels anything like I do, it's very tired. What I'm about to do now is actually very significant because this is a fish, I, know, I always like to return fish alive, but this is a fish where, you know, the locals don't give it any quarter. This stingray has evolved to survive in totally fresh water. 
In fact, it is now thought to be incapable of living in the sea. Just bent over it here, I'm just not seeing the shape of the fish at all. I've just got this, this huge broad back with this amazing pattern on it. As fish go, it, it has to be one of the strangest fish there is, and in a river as well, you know, the size of this thing. I've been fishing the world's rivers now for four decades, but landing a monster like this makes me wonder what else is out there still to discover.